If you're just getting started with guitar, then choosing the right guitar pick might seem a bit overwhelming. With so many different shapes, sizes, materials, and thicknesses, it can be a bit hard to know which one's right for you. But there is a pick out there for you that reigns above all others, and one that you should definitely avoid, both of which I'll cover in this video. To start with, most guitar picks are perfectly usable to learn guitar with, the most common being these middle of the road size and thickness picks, like this Dunlop Tortex 0.88mm, and they are a good starting place, but the size, shape, material and thickness all affects how a guitar pick feels to use and how it sounds on your guitar. For example, thinner picks like this are a lot floppier and will sound more trebly on your guitar, whereas a thick pick like this doesn't bend and will sound much more different. When I was just getting started with guitar, I used to swear by this one type of guitar pick. It's a Dunlop 500 1.14mm thickness. It's the only one that I'd used to practice with and I wore it down to a nub. Then, fast forward a couple of years and I heard Joe Bonamassa in an interview talking about Jazz 3 picks. He would get me into these like double stops and he taught me how to use the small pick. He said, he goes, he goes you're going to need this one day, so he gives me a small pick. So I bought a pack, gave them a go, and they became my favourite. Fast forward again to a couple of months ago and I found this. New pick, it's a Dunlop Altex Sharp 2mm thick pick, and it's bigger than the Jazz 3, it's even more rigid. And I'm sure that there's more picks out there that I'll prefer to even this one. In fact, this week I picked up these Sharp Dunlop 1.14mm thickness picks, because apparently they're the kind that Tim Henson uses. Uh, I read that and I thought I want to give them a go, so I got a set. I've not tried them out yet, but they might be my new favourite. And this brings me to my point. The best guitar pick out there is the one that works for you, but in order to find this, you have to try out a range of different picks first. So my recommendation is to try out a guitar pick variety pack. These are a mixed bag of different picks, different thicknesses, materials, that kind of thing, so you can get a sense of what works best for you in a really cost-effective way. This is the one that I bought from Dunlop, and I've linked it down below, but any guitar pick manufacturer should make them as either a variety pack or a sample pack. The genius of this is once you find your favourite pick, then you can just stock up on them. Even if you've been playing guitar for a while and you've found a pick that you like, I'd still recommend trying out some other ones. I did and was surprised when I came away with some new favourites. And the ones that I don't use every day make good spares for when I inevitably lose my picks, which is often. Now for the type of picks that you shouldn't use. I really recommend staying away from any guitar pick that isn't branded or comes as a promo from a company. These are the kind that you'll find as either bulk sets where you buy a pack of 100 or you'll get them as a freebie when buying guitar straps or other accessories online or you'll find them as novelty picks either with an artist's face or album cover or stuff like that on them. While they're handy to have in a pinch, they're made of really cheap material that will snap at the tip when you need it the most. Trust me. It always leaves a small semicircle hole at the top that makes them completely unusable. I remember using them when I was younger and then snapping the tip and then trying to use the side of the pick and it just being a whole mess. And this was before online shopping, so I'd have to wait to go to a music store to get some new picks. So I really, really don't recommend using them, at least not as your main guitar pick. So to answer the question, the best guitar pick is the one that feels right to you, and you'll find that by trying out as many different picks as you can. The easiest and most cost-effective way to do that that I've found is variety packs. Then once you find the pick that works best for you, then you can just stock up on them. But even if you're a seasoned pro or part of the Jazz 3 cult, like I am, then you might just be surprised with what you can find out there. Let me know your favourite guitar pick in the comments below, and whether that's changed over the years, and subscribe for more guitar tips. Thank you.